guys, my name is Monica and I'm the host today. Before that, let me explain about IKEA's background. IKEA is a well-known Swedish brand of home furnishing products. Today, there are 296 total IKEA stores running in 36 countries. Majority of IKEA's furniture is flat pack, ready to assemble by the consumer. Most of IKEA stores include restaurants and cafes. It sells a large range of nearly 9,500 products. The brand uses a variety of store formats to reach its consumers. Two main reasons behind the growing popularity of the brand globally are low price and good quality of its product. IKEA is both financially strong and has strong brand image. The focus of IKEA has remained on customer convenience and product innovation. Okay, now let's move on to IKEA value chain analysis. There are primary activities and secondary activities. Primary activities consist of inbound logistic, operation, outbound logistic, marketing and sales, and services. Whereas secondary activities consist of firm infrastructure, human resources, technology development, and procurement. Firstly, IKEA Inbound Logistics IKEA is associated with purchasing raw materials from 1,002 suppliers located in 51 countries globally. Relationship with suppliers are maintained via 42 trading offices around the world. DIY assembly principle for many IKEA products lowers the cost of packaging. I'm a DC manager for IKEA North America. My name's Greg Miller. Uh, I've worked with IKEA for 18 years now in September. The fact that we own the supply chain from production right the way through is what makes it significant. We really want our team leaders to manage the business. And you can't manage a business uh, at your desk, running it from your laptop there. So we put the laptops on bikes, so they're working real time with the co-workers out on the floor. We, we have a palletless decking solution in our conventional racking that essentially takes the wood pallet um, out of the picture. Um, also our fully automated uh, silo uh, is definitely a, a big piece of technology that we use and that is going to be put in uh, the distribution centers as we build them. Silo is a chosen piece of, uh, you can really just say it's a huge computer. It's uh, completely automated, it's the most productive part of our business. It's density storage for high frequency product that's sold. It adds value because of how efficient it is and also there's so much less handling involved. Secondly, IKEA operation. IKEA industry consists of 40 production units in 10 countries. Top 5 production countries are Poland, Sweden, Russia, Slovakia, Portugal. This video shows on how IKEA's production site transforms raw materials into finished goods. Thirdly, is about IKEA Outbound Logistics. IKEA Group operates stores in 28 markets around the world. Along with 340 stores in 28 markets worldwide, IKEA has 22 pickup and order points in 11 countries, 
41 shopping centers in 15 countries and 38 distribution sites in 18 countries. This video shows on how IKEA Logistics and tiles storing and distributing finished products. As a logistical co-worker, what I do for IKEA is oh, I replenish. My role contributes to the success of the store by making sure that the goods are on the floor to make sure that everything is presentable and available. Next is about IKEA marketing and sales. IKEA is a multi-channel retailer and integrates selling through stores, catalogs, website, and application. And lastly is IKEA service. Customer service is via a standard set of techniques and practices such as provision of online customer service, IKEA family card, 100 days written policy, and delivery installation and assembly. And now we go on to secondary activities which is firm infrastructure. Firm infrastructure consists of functions or departments such as accounting, legal, finance, planning and others. IKEA group of companies has an ownership structure that ensures independent and long-term approach. They are owned by Stitching IKEA Foundation that use its fund invested in the IKEA group. Human Resource Management Benefits package is really great, um, not only stopping at you know, health benefits, but going into you know, discounts and uh, rewards programs and there's just so much to the benefits package that um, once you sink your teeth into it, it's a really uh, you know, big offer. If you have a family, we work with that. If you don't have a family and you go to school, we'll work with that. If you need benefits, part-time, full-time, we'll work with that. We, we just have a little bit for everybody. Next, we move on to technology development. Technology enhances marketing through electronic media. IKEA provides a number of 3D planners on their website to enable customers to plan their kitchen, wardrobe, storage solution or office. Lastly, procurement. IKEA maintains good communications and relationship management with supplier and manufacturers. Long-term business relationship through long-term contracts enable necessary investment. Customers are responsible for costs associated with the transportation of goods purchased from IKEA stores. Okay, now let's move on to IKEA Porter's Five Forces Analysis. Porter's Five Forces consists of five elements which is rivalry among existing competitors, threat of new entrants, bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitute products, bargaining power of suppliers. The supplier bargaining power is low because IKEA can easily switch supplier. Supplier face difficult situation if loses business from IKEA. Therefore, suppliers must comply, otherwise they can be removed. In a nutshell, the brand is upper hand between IKEA and suppliers. Buyer's bargaining power is low to moderate because the products are in low prices, good quality of IKEA products, marketing strategy of IKEA. The threat of substitute products is low because of brand image. IKEA built reliable brand image through years. Therefore, trust level between customers and brand is high. The threat from new entrants is low to moderate. This is because entrance of new brand can't affect IKEA's business. If a new brand enters the market, it will take time, effort as well as investment. Therefore, the barriers to entry is very low. 
competitive rivalry is moderately high. This is because IKEA's popular and reliable image, its marketing strategy and affordable pricing helped it to gain a large customer base. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching.